pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. value. So our value this month is generosity. Generosity is making someone's day by giving something away. This is a great month to think about being generous and taking actions that show generosity. Since this is the season of giving, think about ways you can make others' lives better by giving them something or doing something kind. The Reflections Contest is ending today. Don't forget to turn in your project. Today we have one very special birthday. This is Xander in fifth grade and he's in Mr. Stewart's class and he's turning 11. Happy, happy birthday, my guy just got you. Happy, happy birthday, cheers to all of you. Today is the first day of December. And did you know that December 1st is National Eat a Red Apple Day? Apples have fiber and other nutrients that are good for our bodies. So let's try to eat an apple today, even if it's not red. Good morning. I want to recognize some of our students that leveled up on our last district checkpoint. So I'm just going to do third and fourth today and then I'll do fifth and sixth tomorrow. So in Miss Floyd's third grade class, these students leveled up in reading. Antonio, Kenji, Santi, and Michael. Um, and actually Michael got mastered. In math for the district checkpoint, um, Caleb got mastered. In writing district checkpoints, um, Preston got mastered, Sarah Lynn, Kenji got mastered, Adriana, Mariah, and Michael all leveled up for science. Caleb, Antonio, Preston, Kenji, Baylor, Camila, Mia all leveled up. These are the students that got mastered. Um, Adriana and Michael and Rika. All right, so for Mrs. Randolph's class, these students leveled up in reading. Malachi, Eliana, and then these students got mastered in the reading district checkpoint. Shannon, McKinley, Paisley, and Janie. These students leveled up for math, Eliana, and then these students got mastered on the math district checkpoint. Raymond, Daisy, Shannon, Paisley, and Janie, and Paisley actually got 100. In the writing, these are the students that leveled up. Um, Saria, Malachi, Gracie, Noah, and Zach. These students got mastered. Daisy and Shannon and Amir got 100. For science, these are the students that leveled up. Morgan, Jamari, Malachi, Faith, McKinley, Madge, Amir, Gracie, Noah. These students got mastered. Daisy, Shannon, Paisley, Janie, and Zach, and then um, Ramon got a um, hundred. All right, so for Mrs. Whitaker's class, these are the students that leveled up in reading. Colin, Chase, Ashante, Logan, Sarah, Tatiana, Zorian, Walid, Carlos, and Jacob, and then Jacob also got mastered. For writing that leveled up, Colin, Ivan, Chase, Cameron, Ashante, Jace, Mia, Jenny, Zorian, Walid, Carlos, Jacob. And then for mastered was Nathan and Walid. For math leveled up, Isaiah, Colin, Ivan, Chase, Mia, Nathan, Logan, Sarah, Camila, Jaden, Aiden, Walid, and Carlos. And these students got mastered on the math, Nathan, Sarah, Camilla, and Walid. So for Mrs. Ammerman's class, these students leveled up in math. Michelle, um, Black, Caesar, Jason, Diana, Caden, and Lucas. And for reading, leveled up. Isaiah, Matthew, Caesar, Malachi, Jace, Elijah, 
Alicia, Diana, Bradley, Carden, and Lucas. And then for writing was Michelle, Alana, Malachi, Jace, Elijah, Alicia, Diana, Carden, and Lucas. And then these students got mastered in math. Isaiah, Matthew, Malak, Caesar, Malachi, and Jace, Carden, and Lucas. And then these students got mastered in reading. Jace, Elijah, and Carden, and mastered in writing. Michelle, Jace, and Carden. Very good job, guys. Proud of all of y'all. It's such a long list of students to read. And then I will share some more tomorrow from 5th and 6th grade. Great job. The holiday store is going on from Wednesday to Friday. How did you become a teacher? I became a teacher about 20 years ago. And that's, I have loved every minute of it since then. you decide that you wanted to become a teacher? Actually, when I graduated from high school, I thought I was going to go into business. I wanted to be an international buyer and travel and, and buy for a department store. But then I, I started working at the church and I just fell in love working with kids. So that's what I decided I wanted to do. I started, I think, about four years ago. I was in sixth grade when I came to Kimball and then moved to fifth grade this year. What's your favorite subject to teach? My favorite subject is reading. I'm an avid reader. I love talking about books with kids and I love reading. That's my very favorite.